What's up guys, Lon here from Android Authority and I'm coming to you live from Mobile World Congress 2016 and we're taking a look at the Xiaomi Mi 5. This will be one of the first devices to market with a Snapdragon 820 processor. It'll also come with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage. There's also a pro version of the phone that ships with four gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage and a ceramic backing. Inside of the Mi 5 is a pretty hefty 3000 milliamp hour battery that should provide for some decent battery life and with support for USB type C on the bottom and a Snapdragon 820 on board, the Mi 5 is capable of taking advantage of Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0. The phone looks pretty familiar to other Xiaomi devices like the Mi Note with glass on the front and rear and metal that wraps around the sides. The backside has Xiaomi's 3D glass which is just a fancy term for glass that tapers down on the edges similar to what we've seen on the Galaxy Note 5 and previous Xiaomi phones. Like many glass made phones it's a big fingerprint magnet but it feels quite sturdy and has a relatively small footprint compared to a lot of other phones thanks to its 5.1 inch display and thin side bezels on the left and right. The screen is a 1080p IPS LCD panel, so it's not quad HD like a lot of other flagships that are getting ready to hit the market, but on first blush it looks quite good. Colors are vibrant and saturated, viewing angles are nice, and it seems to get pretty bright. Below the display you'll notice a physical home button which is not typical for Xiaomi, but this added home button also brings a fingerprint sensor to the Mi 5. The camera on the front comes in at 4 megapixels while the main camera on the rear is a 16 megapixel sensor with phase detection, optical image stabilization, and f2.0 aperture. Obviously we can't really judge the quality of it just yet, but the UI looks simple enough and the shutter speed was actually surprisingly fast. The software is Android 6.0 Marshmallow with Xiaomi's MIUI interface on top. If you're not familiar with it, it's pretty similar to other Chinese OEM skins with colorful squared off icons and the lack of an app drawer, but you will get all of Xiaomi's services and features like the integrated theme store for changing up the look and feel of the interface. The Xiaomi Mi 5 is going to be available in China starting March 1st and other countries like India shortly after for $260 for the regular model and $350 for the ceramic version. With such an affordable price tag, top of the line specs, and a solid design, the Mi 5 is going to be quite the contender. Now all we need is for this phone to somehow make its way to the States. And that's going to do it for this quick hands-on of the Xiaomi Mi 5. For more in-depth coverage, make sure to check out the website at androidauthority.com. And keep it tuned here to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash androidauthority for more of our MWC 2016 coverage.